What's up everybody? I just wanted to do a video going over the official update for the Jelly Bean on the Sprint Galaxy S3. Now, they started pushing this out yesterday via an OTA. I actually manually updated by QE King 77's method. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check that out. Um, you do not have to be rooted. If you are actually rooted, you have to go back to stock recovery. So, like I said, I'll put a link in the description. So you can check out his video on how to do it. I actually did it on this Galaxy S3 and my fiance's Galaxy S3. So we'll go ahead and take a look at a few things. Go into our settings. About device so you know that it is Jelly Bean. And basically, I mean, it still looks basically the same. It's still TouchWiz. Um, that's probably never going to change. But they added a few features that improve the user experience in my opinion um, one thing that really bothered me was how you had to create a folder on ice cream sandwich you basically had to you know open up a new folder and it had that little square folder icon and it just looked ridiculous now they made it a little bit easier you can actually grab an icon drag it up to create folder automatically it asks what do you want to name your folder so we'll go ahead and name it social and as you can see then you can just drag and drop into the folder and it has kind of a little carousel effect um, and then it opens up like that I think it looks very nice um, a lot better than the other way of creating folders on the previous version um, and we'll get into the pull down notifications as you can see when you get notifications this is an email uh, if you want to see more information about it you can just grab it with two fingers pull it down and it will give you a little bit more information and then of course you still have the swipe to delete and on the previous leaked versions of this you know uh, it only had these four or five main toggles and you couldn't scroll it but luckily they bought that back because I, I mean I kind of like it um, it's convenient another cool thing they added was instead of going in your settings going to your Wi-Fi settings looking for GPS all that now you can actually just click and hold on the menu you want to go to and it will bring up that settings for that particular icon that you clicked <clears throat> and also sorry guys I'm a little bit sick uh, also a big improvement that everybody has been going on and on about is Google Now. You can access it either by holding the home button, you can go here, and then it brings up this Google Now. What's the weather like today? The forecast for Los Angeles today is 84 degrees and clear. As you can see, it's very quick, very responsive. Uh, I am on Wi Fi, I've tried it on 3G. But, I mean, it's Sprint 3G kind of sucks. And then, <coughs> and then it gives you some web options. You know, you can see, you know, different websites for the weather in your area. And we'll go ahead and look up sports. Who's playing in the World Series? Oh. Who's playing in the World Series? And then it brings up, you know, if it can't tell you, it will bring up a web search. And then most likely you'll find something in here uh, related to what you're looking for. So we'll get out of that. And another way you can access Google now is by holding your menu button. Um, and it will bring up this, this version. It's kind of like um, a condensed version. And also... Another cool feature that they added was on your lock screen, so we'll go ahead and lock the phone. Before you could only have four icons down here, but now they have given you the option to, oh, sorry about that, they have given you the option to have a fifth icon. So me, I put the Google Now icon so I could just access it at any time that I wanted to without having to go into your home screen and access it that way. Now, 
another cool feature they added was go to your settings sorry I have an app on there and that's actually the hotspot so I'm gonna have to ch change the hotspot in order to be able to get to my settings as you can see I mean they added a couple of different you know they changed the outline of the settings a bit um, uh, home screen mode you can actually change the the theme from basic mode which we're in now to easy mode we'll go ahead and apply that and say you know you're not familiar with smartphones uh, this would be perfect for you you could add your favorite contacts here everything is just big and in your face um, this would be great if you're getting this phone for your parents they've never had a smartphone before that would be great for them but we'll go ahead and get back to the regular mode and to do that you just basically go back to basic and it will put everything back the way you had it now another cool feature is blocking mode now what this does is notifications will be turned off unless you specifically choose for a person to be able to call you and have your phone ring um, so basically it's kind of like do not disturb on Apple but this is Android version and as you can see it says blocking mode enabled in the notification bar you can disable incoming calls disable notifications and disable the LED you can set if you want it a certain time say we'll put it from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. and then it will turn off all notifications during that set time and you can actually choose if you want your favorites their notifications will get through if you choose that method <coughs> oh, sorry guys and um, we'll go ahead and turn that off because I don't use it also lock screen is in its own settings now lock screen this is where you change all your lock screen effects um, if you want quick camera access wake up lock screen things like that it used to be I believe in security um, but they just made it easier to access cloud uh, I'm not really sure what that is but that's a new added feature and you can see all your accounts here you can add an account for syncing um, and basically I mean everything else is the same um, those are the main features that I thought were pretty cool in the Jelly Bean update and I just wanted to go over it quickly uh, and share it with you guys so once again if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel uh, I'm going to be posting a lot of videos in the coming weeks on this channel so I'd appreciate it if you subscribe um, once again check out QB King 77's method on how to manually update to the latest Jelly Bean for the Sprint Galaxy S3 thanks for watching guys peace